Hey everyone, it's John from Evolve. Hey, today we're going to wrap a Rivian R1T and we wanted to take you through the process and kind of show you the before and after pictures of it and um, really get a, a glimpse of what, what does it mean to wrap a self-driving car with all these sensors. So uh, we're looking here at the partial disassembly of this vehicle. So that's important if you're wrapping the vehicle. We know that we've got to take some of these components off so that one, we get a good solid contact for the wrap, but two, and more importantly, is that we've got to recalibrate lots of things on this vehicle. So we can see our radar sensor here. Now that we've had that front bumper cover off to wrap, we're going to have to recalibrate that. Wheel opening moldings are off for both good adhesion and two, there's a camera inside this wheel opening molding, rear facing, that's got to be calibrated. And you can see it on the side, we've taken the mirror off. On the back side, we've got the tail lights out and a couple other components. So we're going to walk you through the process and we're about to get started. Here we go. Hey, we want to follow up on our wrap job on our Rivian R1T and really point out some of the kind of unique things about a lot of these EVs, especially when there's a lot of self-driving or ADOS features involved. So we're just about to wrap this uh, R1T up. But uh, as you can see, we've dismantled lots of things on this, and that's really to make sure that we have a good wrap and it's not going to peel off in the future. However, a couple of things to look at, like we'll take just the mirror assembly itself. So we just finished wrapping the mirror cover, but as you can see in here, we've got a camera as well as a suite of sensors underneath. So we've got basically four different components, high-tech components that are related to self-driving in this mirror assembly. So we've taken this mirror off so that we can have a good wrap on the door, as you see here. No seam. Now, the trick is when we reinstall this mirror, it's going to need to be calibrated. So again, four sensors in here and all of which will need to be calibrated. We'll take another look here. Uh, here is our wheel opening molding that we've taken off to be able to get good adherence underneath of uh, it. But if we look at this molding, we'll see another camera, the rear facing camera on the right hand side. So this camera, once we reinstall this component, this camera is also going to have to be recalibrated along with all of the other cameras. So uh, we'll take a look at the front bumper cover. We've had to take the cover off of the vehicle in order to wrap it. And if, if uh, we come around the back side, now we've just reattached the colored component on it, but if we come around the back side of the bumper cover, we'll look at a, a radar sensor in the corner. And we also have ultrasonic sensors in the center, across and back to the other side. We see another radar sensor along with a front camera another suite of sensors. So in this bumper cover assembly, we're looking at what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different sensors, all of which will need to be repositioned and recalibrated when we put this vehicle back together. So uh, taking a look at what's left on the vehicle, let's come over here. So we're probably a day or so away from finishing this one up and getting it back to our customer. But realistically, we're going to have six hours or so of calibration time to be able to calibrate the entire suite of sensors cameras uh, together uh, in our ADOS calibration center over here. So the important thing to remember is wraps are becoming popular more and more. We'll see a ton more wraps when it comes to Cybertruck. Uh, my prediction is we're going to see sort of refinishing disappear over the next 10 years, and most manufacturers will go uh, to wrapping. So we'll do another story about that later on. But what's important to remember is if you're going to have one of these wrapped, make sure you're taking it to someone that can wrap as well as calibrate the sensor suite uh, completely on the vehicle because you'll get all kinds of strange things happening. If not, you may wind up with just pages of uh, uh, diagnostic trouble codes in the vehicle. Okay. So more to come on this wrap. We'll give you a look at it when it's all done. Okay, so we just finished the calibration on the R1T wrap job. And so a lot to learn there about what's important in calibration on one of these when you do a vinyl wrap. But I have to admit this uh, color looks great on an R1T with this gray interior. So if you have any questions on wrapping, if you want to have your vehicle wrapped, um, hey, reach out. 
ask us anything, uh, we're always glad to help. So as always, leave any questions in the comments below and we'll get right back to you. Thanks for watching.